Hey everybody, today we are discussing the newest project from Arcane Design, The Crypt. Let's get into it. Welcome back everybody. My name is Israel. I'm the founder of Arcane Design. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like, subscribe, and share this video so that we can get more information out to people who don't know Arcane Design. Without further ado, I'm so excited to introduce a new project that Arcane Design has been working on. This is called The Crypt. It's a full-size Persian-style folding knife that has been in development for a while now. Uh, we finally have the new prototype, so I'm so excited to kind of run through all the specs of this new knife and kind of tell you how it's going to run and operate. So we'll hit the table, we'll take a look through all the specs, get you all the information that you need regarding this knife, and then stick later towards the end of the video, and we'll discuss about how this knife is going to be launched, uh, how you can be a part of the launch, and we'll go from there, okay? Thanks. All right, now that we're at the tabletop, let's kind of run through some information on the Crypt. The Crypt is a full-size knife. You're looking at a total length of 8.5 inches with a um, blade length of 3.75 inches. Now, this is a Persian-style blade. It's a very aggressive-style blade, and so because of that, I wanted a full-size knife. Uh, the blade steel is going to be coming in in 20 CV and then if you see here the handle is actually 6L4V titanium with a titanium pivot collar and titanium clip. If you kind of notice uh, the locking mechanism, this is not a frame lock, it's actually a inset liner lock. So let's move up here, we'll focus in really quick. You can see that the lock is nestled within the two titanium handles which gives you the opportunity for this knife to be really usable for both left-handed users and right-handed users the same. It has a really cool milled internal part that goes with the flow of the knife. And then as always with Arcane Design knives, we have really uh, kind of heavy futuristic chamfers. Uh, the style of knife is very, very... Um, the Persian is just such an ancient kind of archaic design and I think it's such a beautiful one and I wanted to kind of add more of a futuristic flair to this one still keeping the aggressive nature and spirit of this design but uh, kind of bringing it up into the future take a look here there's multiple deployments Oops, sorry there's multiple deployments when it comes to this knife I already kind of demonstrated one of them we have a flipper tab right here and just based off of where the flipper tab is placed in conjunction to the pivot, the action is really, really crisp. This blade fires out like no other. Really, really enjoy the action on this. The satin version. And then we have a middle finger flip, a slot in the blade for the middle finger flip. You can see that there's multiple ways that you can grip this knife the standard way with the saber grip. We have beautiful jimping here on top that really, really locks you in. And then we also have a forward finger choil. And this slot right here is not just for aesthetics, it's definitely for a thumb to really rest comfortably so that you can get closer to the tip of that knife. Yeah, I'm just in love with the action on these. Let me put this down here and let's talk about this more. So the knife is going to come in a multiple, in about five different variants. Let's move this down here. The first variant is going to be kind of what you see up here. We have a satin blade with black handles and the pivot collar is going to be this really beautiful ancient gold anodized titanium. This one is currently um, just regular raw gray titanium. However, you just kind of imagine what that will look like. The next version, we're still going to have a satin blade, but there's going to be a, a black pivot collar, and the handle is actually going to be that gold, ancient gold, anodized bronzish color. Uh, the other third one is going to be this full stonewashed version, which is just really stunning. I really, really like the full stonewash look. 
uh, except the pivot collar is going to be PVD coated. And then the next one is going to be an all black variant with the ancient gold anno pivot collars. And then we're going to do a black blade with uh, ancient gold anno handles and a black pivot collar. I'm really, really excited for this project. These knives are gonna go straight into production uh, later this month uh, without a pre-order, but stick around so you can find out how this one's going to launch and how you can be a part of it. All right, now that we are back, we can kind of discuss what the plan is for the crypt moving forward and when these knives are going to be coming. First off, the knife is going to retail around $375. Uh, with regards to the actual drop, uh, this is not going to be a standard pre-order. So uh, what the plan is, is to go into production immediately this month, November uh, 2022. Uh, and reason being, I'm trying to shorten down the pre-order window. So the plan is to go into production and order all of the knives this month. Then around early February or uh, late January, we're going to be opening up a pre-order for people to secure the limited quantity spots. With that in mind, I need your help. If the Crypt is a knife that you are really, really interested in and you want to make sure that it's something that can be available to you, there's going to be a survey down in the description box uh, and I'd love for you to fill that out. That survey is going to tell us basically who is interested, how many knives we should order, what are the variants that are most popular, and what kind of add-ons you're interested in to give us a better idea of what we should order. The survey isn't an obligation. It doesn't definitively secure your spot for the crypt, but it gives us a good idea for what the interest is for this project. Uh, I'm wanting to shorten down the pre-order windows so that you can receive this knife in such a shorter amount of time than usual. Uh, and I think it's gonna be a better overall experience for everybody. Uh, so yeah, please let me know if you have any questions. You can put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Uh, aside from that, you're gonna see a lot more images and videos on this knife in my social media coming up. So be sure to follow me on Instagram. Uh, you can go to arcandesign.co to get the full specs of this knife and uh, a bunch of pictures and everything like that. And uh, we're gonna go from there. Guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, we'll see you next time.